Welcome to Standing Firm Tribulation Radio, broadcasting the truth in the last days, giving commentary to the latest news, encouraging the faithful remnant through God's Word to help you stand firm. This is a worldwide ministry to all of God's children, of which many are currently undergoing intense persecution while others are facing an onslaught of demonic activity, extreme weather, and catastrophic disasters. You're listening to Tribulation Radio. The name of our show today is Resist the Lies of the Devil by Walking in the Promises. The lies of the devil have caused most of the problems in our world today. It's not just the lies, but the fact that so many of the world's population actually believes the lies. Have you ever wondered why there's such an increase in emotional and psychological problems? It's reported in 2014 that 91% of the population would seek a mental health professional if they had a problem. Have you ever wondered why there is such an increase in drug addiction? It's also reported that in the same year that 8 million Americans battled both drug addiction and mental health disorders concurrently. Perhaps the most alarming statistic to me was the increase in the number of suicides globally. According to the U.S. Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, that's the CDC, worldwide 800,000 people die due to suicide every year, according to the World Health Organization. The shocking fact is the church is not exempt from these problems. Psychological problems, drug addiction, and suicide are caused primarily from listening to the lies of the devil. So follow me along to discover how to resist the lies of the devil by walking in the promises. We will be back in less than a minute after Paula Dispro introduces our show with heavenly music in a short music video. Remember to stay tuned for later in the show when Paula sings a different song each week to the glory of God. Trusting all his sovereign plans, stand firm in him. Stand firm, stand firm. Keep on walking in God's holy ways. He will give his strength to face each day. Stand firm in him. The battle. Struggles are great, but a blessed defeat will not be our fate. For Jesus, Commander, is with us today, is with us forever. Before we look at the promises, let's look at the lies of the devil that's causing so much destruction to humanity. The first lie is that the blight of sin can never be truly erased. All the horrible things you ever did in the past or were a witness to will be with you for the rest of your life. No matter how hard you try to move from the old life, it will always be there to pull you down causing you untold heartaches. This lie has led many into a life of drug addiction, endless counseling, and worse yet, suicide. The second lie is likened unto it by telling the population that God does not have the answers to your problems because the Bible is not sufficient for the modern age. They say a modern age needs modern solutions discounting the fact that Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. As our Creator, He knows more about us and our needs than anyone else. Finally, the third big lie of the devil is that humans are weak and sinful, so it would be impossible for them to participate in the divine nature. The ideal would be totally foreign to a godless world allowing this lie to take root among the pagans. 
These three big lies, along with many others from the devil, has kept the biggest part of humanity in bondage. Furthermore, this bondage is increasing daily. Of course, we should know that Satan's desire is to enslave the entire human race before Christ returns. Are you a prisoner or have you been set free? If you want to break free from this bondage, then we need to learn how to walk in God's great and precious promises. The first is found in the Bible. Let's read it together. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Of course, this promise is only available to the new creation. The person who has faith believing that God will make him or her into a new creation. Logic dictates that a new creation cannot have any of the old creature still existing in the new. Although God will take the rest of your life here on the planet, growing you from one degree of glory to another, it does not negate the fact that the old life, past tense, has passed away. Through faith, you have been forgiven and your past sins are never to be remembered again by God. The new creation has a heart of stone replaced with a heart of flesh where everything changes. See Ezekiel 11:19. Your likes and dislikes change. You are changed from the inside out, quite differently from the world that just wants to change the outside through behavior modification. Your whole attitude about life and others completely change. If it were not for your familiar face, even your closest friends would no longer recognize you. Unless you plan on calling God a liar, then we must believe this truth and walk in the promise. We must resist the lies of the devil. Remember, the second lie of the devil is that God does not give us everything we need for life and godliness. So what is God's promise? Let's look in the Bible together. According as His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue. 2 Peter 2.3 Through the knowledge of Him, the more we learn about Christ through the indwelling Spirit, the more we learn to live a righteous life in an unrighteous world. In fact, it is the indwelling Spirit's job to lead us into all truth. See John 16, 13. To bring to our memories all that Christ taught when He walked upon the earth. Of course, this promise will do you little good if you don't believe it. On the other hand, if you do believe in this promise, then you will spend all the time necessary researching the Bible for the answers that's applicable for every age, including the modern age. You will spend enough time listening to the Spirit, allowing Him to either lead you to the appropriate scripture or speaking directly to your spirit, keeping in mind that His words will never nullify the Bible. Finally, you will receive counsel from other believers who are walking in this promise. Unless you plan on calling God a liar, then we must believe this truth and walk in this promise. We must resist the lies of the devil. Remember, the third lie of the devil says that as weak and sinful human beings, we are unable to participate in the divine nature. So what is God's promise? Let's look in the sufficient Word of God, the Bible, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. 2 Peter 1.4 By these promises, believing and walking in them will allow us to actually participate in the divine nature. Praise God! By the time we get to walking in the divine nature, our past life is just a distant memory. You have been growing spiritually by putting off the old life and putting on the new life of righteousness, 
becoming every day more like your risen Lord Jesus Christ. You have been walking in the Spirit, moving you further away from the world's counsel and closer to only listening to God's holy counsel. Now you are truly seeing things differently as you begin to enjoy the tremendous blessing of participating in the divine nature. To do so changes your priorities, changes your longings and your desires. You won't remember the exact time it happened, but you know that your heart is so much more tender than ever before. You feel as though you can reach up and touch the face of God. Unless you plan on calling God a liar, then we must believe this truth and walk in this promise. We must resist the lies of the devil. When we believe and walk in this promise of God, then you will no longer suffer as the world suffers. You will no longer be held in bondage to your old sin nature, but set free to live a new life in Christ. You will, with God's help and the temporary help of a qualified medical professional, be able to stop your addiction. All your emotional and psychological problems of your old life will eventually fade away with the help of the indwelling spirit and other qualified believers that are walking in the same promises. All your previous thoughts of suicide will also pass away as you walk in a new life, learning how to turn everything over to the risen Lord and learning how to listen to His counsel alone. The church should be the lighthouse to a lost and dying world by giving them hope of a new life, free from all the pain and suffering of the past life. Dear friends, it's not too late to pass this message on to your family and friends. It's not too late to ask Jesus Christ to come into their lives, forgiving them of their past sins and making them into a new creation where they too can participate in the divine nature. Stop listening to the lies of the devil and start listening to God's truth. Please join me in prayer. Good morning, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us of the great and precious promises given to us in faith at our calling. As the world gets even more evil and the pressure of Satan's hold on the earth becomes stronger, we must remember the promises, the promise to give us everything we need for life and godliness, the promise to make us into a new creation, the promise to allow us to participate in the divine nature. We pray especially hard for all thy beloved children to remember these great and precious promises, to resist the lies of the devil that teaches that the promises are not valid, thereby leading the entire world into bondage to his counsel and drugs. We pray, O Lord, that you give your faithful remnant great strength to stand against this lie by teaching the truth. We pray that once they taste the tremendous joy of participating in the divine nature, that they will lead others to do the same through faith. We pray this in the blessed name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Bible says, reading under the King James Version, whereby are they given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. 2 Peter 1.4 I'll be back after a 30 second station break. I would like to invite you to visit my online bookstore today for one of these incredible books. Final Warning offers evidence that the beast is already building the global city of Revelation. Stand Firm helps lay a foundation for the Christian soldier to overcome the wiles of the devil. Guiding Principles for Biblical Counseling is a very practical book for the layman and the professional. Revelation Truth is a collection of all my timeless articles written to help God's children stand firm. Let's welcome back Ed Hollyfield to the Tribulation Radio Show, who will sing, Let's Return to God. Our 
great nation is full of strife There's trouble on every hand Satan's disciples are running wild Trying to drive God from our land Lust and greed are common taste Cause idols are everywhere The saddest part of all Is most people don't seem to care Our country was founded on the principles of God His commandments were seen everywhere In public places at every level And everything started with a prayer Satan got a few of his people Claiming reference to God shouldn't be The courts agreed with what they said They rejected our deity Let's return to God Put him first in everything Let's return to God Follow Jesus Christ our King Let's return to God And repent of all our sins Let's return to God And He'll return to us again Well, the devil went to courts and the judges agreed Saying, ban God's name in our schools Professing themselves to be wise They became a little more than fools Violence and hate have taken his place And guns are a common tool We'll never be safe again without God and his golden rule It's not safe to go to a movie anymore or leave your home at night Violence has gotten completely out of hand Much to the devil's delight It's because we're turning our backs on God No longer love our fellow man A nationwide revival is the only fix For the mess that's taken our land Return to God, put him first in everything. Let's return to God, follow Jesus Christ our King. Let's return to God, and repent of all our sins. Let's return to God, and he'll return to us again. Let's return to God, and he'll return to us again. We all know that Jesus Christ came to save the sinner and give them a new life in Him. But what many of us have forgotten is the true nature of sin. Yes, we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But what is sin? We will all agree to disobey any of His commandments is sin. But how many can you quote? You might say, if I love God and my fellow man, then I have fulfilled His commandments. But don't forget that he has given us over 127 commands in the New Testament alone to show us how to love God and how to love one another. On our own, we cannot obey. But with God, all things are possible. Not only has he promised to save us, but give us the ability to obey all of his commandments and trust him alone. This is all by the grace of God, not by works lest any man should boast. This grace comes through faith, believing in Jesus Christ, who is the true Son of the living God, who died, was buried, and raised on the third day, opens a door to a new life in Him. This is a life where all of our sins are forgiven, and we are made into a brand new creation, where old things pass away. From the very first day, we are given the gift of the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us into all truth producing every manner of spiritual fruit. This eternal life misses the sting of death and ushers us into His glorious presence. This free gift is given to those who are called into His kingdom. Dear friend, if you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord by placing all of your trust in Him to make you into a new creation and forgive you of all your sins, then you can do that right now in the privacy of your own home. Come to Jesus right now, confessing and repenting of your sins, telling Him that you believe that He is the Son of the living God and the only path to salvation, asking Him to take full control of your life as Lord.
I'm very pleased to introduce our own Paula Dispro, who has written another poem, very appropriate for today's show. The poem is entitled, Jesus, I'll Listen to You. Jesus, I'll listen to you. Satan, the father of lies, tells me, you're through. Give up. Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life, tells me, I'll see you through. Never give up. Just keep your eyes on me. Keep looking up. Remember, I make all things new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Amen. Glory to God. me to do. Help me go where you want me to go. Oh dear Lord, let me live every day to please you. Oh dear God, help me live all my life to please you. Listen to your voice, follow all your word. All my life I live, O oh Lord, to please you, please you, glorify your name, how I long to live my life to please you. Help me be who you want me to be. Help me do what you want me to do. Help me go where you want me to go. Just live every day to please you. Yes, dear God, I give all of my life to please you. Listen to your voice. Follow all your word. All my life I live, oh Lord, to please. Teresa Wiggins has a loving heart for the orphans, the widows, and the poor, and invites you to visit her website and make a tax-deductible donation today for one of these precious children. These are only two of the many hungry and deprived children that could use your help. The little girl and boy are from Uganda, Africa. Make your tax-deductible donation today using the PayPal button. Thank you for your help.
Thank you for listening to Tribulation Radio. I pray that God has richly blessed your listening experience. Please help us spread the truth by telling your friends and family about Tribulation Radio. May our God bless and protect you until we meet again. Thank you.